Good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday the 7th of December and it is a super exciting day because we have Sharps here who are starting to install our fitted wardrobes and our um, dressing table and chest of drawers in our bedroom. I'm so excited. So this video is going to be kind of a bedroom transformation and just like a little vlog to show you along the way and to explain how the process with Sharps has worked as well. Just for complete transparency, this video is in collaboration with Sharps, which is really exciting. It isn't a paid ad or anything, I'm not being paid to talk about them, but they have very kindly discounted the wardrobe and dressing table and everything for us in exchange for content. So this video that you're watching right now and also some content on Instagram as well. So yeah, I'm going to change positions because my arm is killing me and then tell you a little bit about what we're having done. Um, we're going a little bit bold with the colour we've chosen. Sorry, I've got some recycling on the floor there. <laughs> I'm really excited to see how it's going to turn out because we kind of just picked it as we thought it was really cool and modern and now I'm a bit like, oh, can we pull it off because we have a navy wall in there. Bit of a gamble, but I'm really excited. All the materials started arriving today and they look incredible. The guys worked so hard. They were so out of breath because it's two floors up as well. So they're like running up and down, bringing all the stuff up. So freaking excited to see it finished and finally organize our bedroom after what? It's December, so yeah, three months of living here. I feel like Sam should be here because obviously we chose everything together, but Sam is at work. So I will be doing most of the talking. <laughs> Hopefully when the uh, man who is installing tonight, I think he's called Steve. Um, yeah, he is called Steve. He's really, really nice. When he leaves tonight, we'll be able to show you inside the room and the progress so far. I think he's going to be here for about three days, he thinks. So after we went into the Sharp showroom initially, we got given a design appointment, which is where a designer comes over from Sharps and kind of recce's everything. So you take him around the room or rooms that you want stuff in and he kind of takes your ideas and what you want and like just kind of goes over them with you and gives you a vision and like roughly starts drawing out the designs like you saw today. He draws them on like actual paper and it's really cool. <laughs> and then he kind of goes away, sends you the designs, you can look through them, kind of reevaluate everything, make any changes. And then we had a second appointment, which I think is called like the surveyor or survey appointment, um, where another guy came round, double checked all the measurements, made sure they were perfect. The designs get drawn up on like their graphic design program, which is what you saw just then in the images. It was like a two to three hour appointment. Um, he was fab. Everything has been super COVID safe as well. If you're kind of worried about people coming into your home, they're really kind of strict with their rules, always wearing a mask. They don't like eat or accept drinks from you, um, which is sad because I'm always like, are you sure you don't want a coffee? <laughs> yeah, and then after that, and we kind of agreed on the design and checked we were happy with everything, we then got given an installation date, which is today. And the uh, Steve, who's installing everything, he turned up this morning. Um, and then shortly after the Sharps van arrived, uh, two lovely guys from, because I think they're based in Wolverhampton. So bless them, they've driven all the way down from Wolverhampton. They left at like 4.30 in the morning, he said. Um, which is crazy, but they then delivered all the equipment, so all the materials. Um, they were bringing like massive boards in and up the stairs. They've been amazing. And now he's just up there working. So I'll show you a quick clip now of what our bedroom looked like before, like this morning I did this footage. Um, so you can see kind of like the bare space and what they're working with. And then I'll do like the transformation at the end. Yeah, we'll check in later and see what the progress is. So Steve's just left for the day. And oh my God, look at this. It's like a proper workshop in here. The dressing table has been started, which is super exciting. I was going to do a sneak peek, but I think I'm literally just going to save it because otherwise it will just look a bit crap and then the reveal will be boring. I'm just going to leave this workshop <laughs> and oh, oh, oh. I just was going to quickly show you our current setup because we are using our spare room, like our guest bedroom. Oh, I just lit a candle in here so it would smell nice. Luckily, our sofa bed arrived at the weekend. I haven't really made the bed. Sorry about that. <laughs> but this is our new sofa bed. It's pink. 
Um, I hung some fairy lights to try and make it nice in here. So yeah, we aren't quite used to sharing a small double because we usually share a king. So we're going to be slightly tired this week. But yeah, I think I'm pretty much just going to talk to you when we do the reveal now because otherwise it's going to be super long and boring. You probably just want to see how beautiful the bedroom is going to be. Hopefully. <laughs> so it's day three of Steve fitting the wardrobes. What do you think? Just to clarify, I'm not Steve. Oh yeah. I'm Sam. <laughs> well, obviously, this is my husband and I've not Sam. Been the wardrobe. Sorry, Sam hasn't featured in the vlog yet, so I want to just get his reaction because it's going to be finished tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes, we've been sleeping in our sofa bed for the last few nights. So, do you love it? Tomorrow night we can sleep back in here. I'm really happy with it. I'm it's really looking good, it. isn't it? It's not quite finished yet, obviously, and I don't want to show you any sneak peeks. It's going to take us a little while to like put the bedroom back and uh -huh. make it finished and put everything away, isn't it? So I don't know when the reveal is coming, but I'm excited. In a few days, yeah. I need to put the bed back together and we need to sort of put everything in its right place. But it's going to look really good, I think. I'm really pleased with it. Yay, so exciting! Really good. I'm really happy with it. Woohoo! Oh my god, so it is the end of day four. Steve has left. He's done such an amazing job. And it is finished. Wait, let's be really extra and do a countdown in three two, Yeah, I love it. We love, well, I was asking the viewers, but you can oh. have your input too. <laughs> oh. We absolutely love it. This room isn't 100% finished, but obviously we just want to show you the brand new spanking wardrobes and beautiful dresser. So, should we start with the wardrobes? Yeah. So, as you can see, we went for this gorgeous slate grey and we are obsessed. Like, this literally just fits the space so well. Like, I know that that's the whole point of fitted wardrobes, right? Is to fit floor to ceiling. But I guess we just didn't realise like, how amazing it would look and how like space efficient and we thought it would feel like really claustrophobic in here but it actually like feels really spacious still, doesn't it? Yeah. Considering we have a king bed, there's actually quite a lot of space. Um, obviously we had to do this further back to keep in line with the door and um, because you need a certain width for hanging space for a hanger. Um, this one is like shelves which we'll see in a minute and then this one comes further out so we've got some rails for hanging space. And that width is 60 for anyone interested, 60 <laughs> centimetres. Sounds on the technical stuff. Um, so yeah, should we have a look inside? Yeah. We went for, like, is it called push catch? Um, yeah. Where you push and it opens so there's no handles. So we wanted this like nice and sleek without handles. This one is Sam's section. My only section. <laughs> <laughs> so this is basically just loads of shelves. We're just, oh, it's just so amazing to have all this space, isn't it? Like we're just so not used to, as you'll have seen from the before, like how we didn't have any like storage space, obviously. Then this one is all my tops and jumpers and I've got some jeans and things in here. I, we basically have so much space. I need to get more storage boxes and um, I can actually fit in here, you know? Yeah. We Hide, need to get more boxes. Hiding place. And more, <laughs> maybe I can't. Can I shut you in? No. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> we need to get more storage boxes. And as we'll see, like there's still so much empty space. I actually have a whole summer clothes suitcase that I haven't even unpacked yet. So that is coming soon. Um, but yeah, amazing. So we've got obviously the hanging rail. And then this one, because of our mahoosive king bed, doesn't open fully, but we like agreed to that obviously. We knew that would happen. Um, but this one has a bigger hanging rail. So I've got like dresses and skirts and then basically like hardly anything in the rest of it at the moment but I will fill it up I'm sure but I can definitely get to it enough and get my pretty dresses out <laughs> so I'm loving it I feel like I should mention that at some point we have a wardrobe coming downstairs for Sam's stuff I'm not just like totally greedy and Sam's living out a suitcase like we do have that covered right? yeah okay. and I normally get ready downstairs because I get up earlier so it makes yeah. sense for me not to get ready in here Exactly, whereas this is like my dressing room. Then we have at the end this amazing double section, which is all shelves. 
Nice. Um, and it basically has like all my active wear. I've got like a million pairs of leggings, jumpers, bikinis at the bottom, and we are still yet to fill this space. Sam has a couple of things. <laughs> good. Um, and it's just so good. Like I much prefer this to drawers because I've always kept stuff like this in drawers and then you always forget what's actually in them and you can never see anything and they get messy and then the drawer doesn't open or shut because I've been getting trapped and it's a nightmare. So I have, I'm so happy that I can actually see my clothes. Um, it's just amazing, isn't it? Mm, it's good. We're literally so, so over the moon with them. Like, obviously we expect to love them, but I feel like we love them like 10 times more than we thought. Yeah, for sure. That's so amazing. So then you just shut these ones, obviously. And then welcome to my dressing area. We've actually just put the lights on because it is very, very gloomy today. It's rainy. Um, so yeah, you can see what the color looks like in electric light as well. Um, we were worried that this slate grey colour would look a bit like officey or make the room look too dark um, and it really doesn't I think because we've got it against a white wall and then it complements like the navy wall which we'll show you in a minute like really really well. Um, I'm just so happy with it, are you? Yeah I'm really, I'm really pleased with it. Because I think we were a bit like oh it's a bit risky what if it makes the room look really dark but I mean I know I've just said it's gloomy but it's like 3pm in winter um, but we do actually get quite a lot of light in this room so it's works perfectly. The main difference between this and the wardrobes is obviously we've got gold handles um, which we absolutely love. We're doing a cheeky close-up. They're like this kind of textured feel um, and I've just got lots of lovely pyjamas in here and underwear which I won't show you <laughs> and it's just so organised and there's also a cupboard here which goes right round which is perfect which I have so much space in there. Um, I'll probably do like a proper dressing table tour at some point but I won't bore you with like all the details right now. She says showing you more of what's inside <laughs> but this one just has like random notebooks and hair stuff um, and then really handily. Handily? Is that a word? I think so. Mm. <laughs> conveniently. Really conveniently yeah. I can actually just store my makeup and even the brushes fit in there so I don't have to constantly have this out although I mean it doesn't matter if you do but we just like things that are super neat so it's just so amazing having not only like underwear and like clothes and stuff in here and also then like makeup bits got all my sports bras in here to go with everything that was in the shelves that you saw um and yeah just as you can see there's so much more space that I'm not really using yet so plenty more opportunity for clothes buying <laughs> yeah you need more clothes I think <laughs> Um, and then the stool I'm obsessed with. We actually got this on Amazon um, and it's similar to with one that we have downstairs, but it's just absolutely perfect. The gold matches the handles and it's an ottoman. So I've got my cheeky hair bits in there and that just slides under and it's super comfy. And I know it's more gray, but it's kind of like a different shade. So I think it works. Yeah, it definitely works. Yeah, so I'm literally, uh, this just couldn't be any more perfect. Like. Obviously, it just makes such amazing use of the space. I've got so much room for clothes and so much room in that cupboard for like, maybe I need to put like books and photo albums and stuff in there. But yeah, I'm literally in storage heaven. Hmm. Just a couple of practical points I want to bring up. <laughs> okay. Un under the window Let's deliberately, yeah. which is good. Dressing table under the window, natural yep. light for the makeup. Yeah, this is my mirror. So that's why we've done that. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is there's a radiator behind there. Yeah. Um, so we've had them build it in front of that deliberately with a box on top with these kind of brass grates. This so just lifts straight off as well. Yeah, so you can get it off if you need to, but it basically still allows the heat to come out. Yeah. And we can access the, uh, the radiator knob through one of these drawers. You can just lift the drawer out completely yeah. and get back to the knob to adjust it that way. So yeah. it's, it's all very, very clever. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, he, I mean, he did such a good job. He spent four full days doing both things and he just did yeah such an amazing job um, and we like that we've kind of ended it here because we're going to put a nice big plant here as I said this room's not completely finished so we've still got some space to use here which is amazing and then we'll probably do like a photo wall as well to really bring the dressing table alive and let me know what you think because obviously I've not really got anything on here at all yet but we don't want it to be messy but I should probably put some more bits there, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, I think as time goes on you'll put some other bits of decor on there. Yeah, and then what I love as well is that you can see it from the mirror. Hi. Yay, hi! <laughs> so obviously we've got this big Lena mirror. This is from somewhere called Melody Maison, which I found online. Really like good prices actually yeah, for like the, the size, this is a bloody big mirror. Um, and then obviously you can see the navy wall. 
Um, and I just love that it just really opens up the space so you can fully, like the closer you come, the more like you can see the whole dresser. So every time I'm getting ready in the mirror, I'm just like, oof, look at that, it's so pretty. Um, so yeah, I love that because we, again, we thought that it would make the room feel really small, but actually both the wardrobe and the dressing table have done the opposite. Like obviously they've given us amazing storage, but without taking up too much space because they're so space efficient. And they're just so beautiful to look at. <laughs> So you just feel like we're in organisation heaven. I've yeah. still got so much organising to do, it makes me so happy. It's so nice to be able to put everything away as well. I know. Shall I demonstrate me at the dresser? This is like a this is live demo. Down. How to use a dressing table. Yeah, every morning I'll get out my makeup or oh I've got a papier planner here. Or I'll sit down with my pen and plan out my life for the day whilst looking in the mirror. Good. <laughs> whilst feeling the heat from the radiator in a safe manner. And you know, whilst, what's in this one? Getting my socks out. <laughs> Always need the socks. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Then, really quickly, I thought I'd mention where a couple of other bits are from, in case anyone is wondering, as we've shown everything. The bedside tables are from a place called Rocket St George, um, which is, again, a random kind of website I found, which does amazing kind of quirky stuff. Um, I'm going to with black to kind of tie in the mirror a little bit. We found that it actually looks nicer to have a couple of like mismatched bits in the room. Obviously our wardrobe and dresser match um, and it looks amazing but I think we needed kind of other shades of things rather than slate grey everything. Don't you agree? Totally agree. So we need a bit of black to bring out the other colours I think. Yeah and then our bed is obviously light grey. Our bed is from Benson for Beds. Bit of a nightmare because you have to put it together yourself but Sam did an excellent job and it is actually an ottoman. <laughs> You're welcome. For extra storage so you literally lift and ta-da! We won't bore you with what's in there, it's not very well organised, but again, I could probably fit in here. As I said, it's the king, so we've got so much space. And then you just... Ta-da! So because we've got that storage, and then obviously our amazing wardrobes, and dressing table and drawers, we have just mm, nailed the storage in this room, haven't we? For sure. And we've got the eaves cupboard as well. Yeah, and we've got that cupboard built in, kind of mini so. loft. Um, and then two more things, I guess. The bedding and the pillows, actually, are all from Next. Um, I think we got like the luxury, like nice soft ones. Mm, really they're really, really nice good. and soft, aren't they? Yeah, we do love it. And then this frame kind of completes the room. It's the only thing we've got on the wall at the moment. As I said, we will put more photos up. Um, but this one I got for Sam for our anniversary, and the print was from Not on the High Street, and it's so pretty because it's like the constellations from the night we got married. Which is about a year ago. About a year ago, exactly. So yeah, that is the kind of room. Transformation. <laughs> Sam is literally crouching to get in this shot. <laughs> um, but yeah, we hope that you have enjoyed seeing a peek into our kind of almost finished bedroom. Now it is organisation and storage heaven. And I really hope you've enjoyed seeing the process from start to finish of how Sharps can create amazing storage solutions in any space because we have really annoying eaves and it has just worked perfectly. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to Sharps for collaborating with us. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, head to my Instagram for more pictures and videos. And don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>